Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. We are currently anchored in Santa Maria Bay in Mexico. There is a surf break here and we got waves yesterday, but today the swell had dropped out. Uh, there was a boat in here when we came in yesterday or the day before. We went surfing with these guys and they've got two little kids and they're super cool. We are going to the beach with them today. So it's always awesome when you find another boat you get along with. I'm just making up some fish cakes because yesterday Memo and Lindsay and the kids came over and we cooked up some sushi because they had a heap of tuna. So they left some tuna here and I'm just going to whip up some Thai fish cakes and we're going to head to the beach and go and see what's over there. We jumped in our dinghy and headed towards the beach and went through an opening in the mangroves. The only challenge was there were waves at the entrance. We had to time it perfectly so we didn't flip the dinghy. We waited and waited and when Dad saw the perfect opportunity, he went for it. The idea was to ride the back of the wave and get far enough in away from where the waves were breaking. That way we could ride it rather than going over the top or having it break on us. It was super pretty and we decided to see how far up into the mangroves we could go. We stopped at a little fishing village where we met this lovely couple that lived here all year round. <laughs> Memo is Mexican, so even though we are still learning Spanish, Memo and Lindsay were able to chat and ask questions. The fishermen come and go from here, but this couple are here all the time. They were super sweet, they welcomed us and gave us a fish and fresh oysters to try. Yeah. Le falta limón. It's good. <laughs> you like it? They're supposed to be much better than the farm ones or whatever because the mangrove is so healthy. Ah, comido de 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 cultivo. Sí. Más gordo no, más grande. Pues hay de todo. Fíjate que allá donde nosotros venimos cultivan. Hace cuenta que agarran así los cuchillos de varios. Los 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 tiembra. Adentro. How was that? It's good. I'm in our line. Gracias. Oye, jefe, ¿cómo se llama usted? Diego, por algo ahí. It's pretty nice. It's good. 
Yes. Yeah, I like that. That's really good, babe. You should try them. Yeah, I don't. I don't like them cooked. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so was he. Nos ha hecho picante. Una gotita. Una gotita, sí, gracias. Gracias. Oh, with the lime is mejor. Yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> gracias. So great standing talking you got me checkmate the fresh oysters were so good we wanted more they told us where to find some so we continued our mission into the mangroves also so that you can get to be the big spoon <laughs> rio was hoping for a fish and then someone spotted a crab crabs were now on the menu Where can we put it? Let me see. Oh. It's I, the other one was bigger. Yeah. My knots undo. Just lift your toes up. Then we finally spotted some oysters. We even had a go at some seaweed that was pretty tasty. Is that the one he said? Yeah. Around the corner? Yeah. Yay! Okay, you're free! Because we only managed to get one small crab, we decided to let it go. We were happy with our oysters, clams, and fresh fish. Well, it's time to head back to the boat and the pressure was on yet again for Dad not to flip the dinghy and get us all over the waves and safely back to our floating homes. Wait for it, wait for it. We had a fun night and tried some new clams and well, as you can tell, I wasn't a fan. Even though I politely kept it in my mouth for a while, I eventually had to let it go free in the sea, if you know what I mean. Alright, we're going to leave Santa Maria today, but um, Taj is just having his breakfast. <laughs> Some oysters from the mangroves, look at them. Oh, they're pretty tasty. But Taj is a big fan of oysters. Mm -hmm. Who knew? All we did was put some lime juice and we cooked them last night. We grilled them Ooh, and they were delicious. The clams weren't so much, we weren't really a big fan of the clams, but the oysters, look at these. So good, so fresh, so delicious. They taste different to Australian oysters, so they're yummy. 
We really like them. We had a good night last night, hey. Oh, a good day yesterday. Yesterday was actually pretty fun day. It was a very fun day. We waved goodbye to Night Runner and got ourselves ready to pull up the anchor and continue down the Baja coast. All right, we're pulling anchor from Santa Maria, heading to Calvo. 170 nautical miles to so go, and um, it's gonna be warm, Bella. Are you excited? It's gonna be warm. Apparently they're surfing down there without wetsuits. <laughs> yes! We're going four and a half knots and we've got 10 knots of wind. We're about to put up the spinnaker. So we just wanted to compare. We've got the head sail out at the moment and we are going to fly the spinnaker, yeah? Yeah, it's the wind's behind us so we're not getting any drive out of it. So we're going to see what the difference is, the speed we can get. So we're going like four, four and a half knots now. Let's go for the spinnaker up and see what we can do. a little stiff in the stock I think it just needs to get its shape yeah, a bit. All right let's see what speed we're doing now. Oh we're going five, five and a half. Five and a half knots or oh, six. We're going six knots babe. Thanks honey. Cheers. Oh we only got eight knots of wind. Eight knots of wind and we are going five and a half, six it's knots. The same. Oh, do you love the spinnaker or do you love the spinnaker? Settled the boat out a bit nicer too. Got a nice and nice motion now. Bloody ripper. Bloody ripper, you deserve a cupcake, Captain. Oh, doesn't get any better. <laughs> Just need a little mud water now and warm up. Alright, we are going to down here. Yeah. Cabo. Because I know I get chocolate ones after. So we're there and we're going all the way down to here, which is like 170 nautical miles. Really good fishing ground down here, so we're hoping we're going to catch some fish. That'll be great. Seeing we're out of fish, we've got a few oysters left, but other than that, Taj is going to be hungry. Meanwhile, Bella fills him up on chocolate muffins. So we're cruising along super nicely, but it's uh, we've got to change angle to head to Cal Woods Carbo. So we're going to pull the spinnaker in and set the right angle, and then we can see if we can pull it out. But it's really, really light winds. It's such, it's so nice. Really nice motion. We're going like five, five and a half knots. We've got to change our angle. So we're going to pull the spinnaker down, and um, then we'll assess from there. Ooh. You got a fish? Oh yeah, baby. Do you? Got a fish! Show me! We've got dinner? Nice, oh, you're gonna be psyched! <laughs> I got fresh, fresh bread rolls made, so that's good. Dinner is sorted.
So last night was pretty calm and we had the wind behind us. We were wing on wing all night. I started off uh, with watch to like 11 and then Lee jumped up. I think oh, Bella maybe did like 11 till 12 then Lee jumped up. It was on watch till 2. I did 2 till 5 and then Lee was back up again in the morning. Put the rod out hoping to get a fish because there's some good fishing grounds out here. And we did get a little baby, a wee baby mahi mahi, <laughs> um, which we ate because we had no food. And then we had something big on the rod and it was fighting for a long time and Taj was super excited and he was whining. Ended up being a shark, which is unfortunate. We don't like eating sharks, so we threw him back. Swim away. God, that was a lot of effort for that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that wasn't cool. Then the wind just dropped out, so we decided to put up the spinnaker. The spinnaker's up, flying, and we're about 45 nautical miles from Carbo. So we'll probably arrive tonight sometime. Maybe Chad. Put the tuna feather out. Ask King next week. Oh, for a bigger sized fish, please. Oh, I've been asking him, and then I got noodles for dinner. <laughs> Fish and chips. Noodle. He got laxa and an egg <laughs> and he's complaining. Delicious, thanks babe. You're welcome, darling. Oh Bella, what's your toes? Don't touch my toes. When she's on watch, this is what she does. Makes her toes pretty. Don't give free foot pics away. <laughs> People need to pay for that. Bella, <laughs> focus. Focus. See this? When this is here, it means nothing. They've been making water for a few hours. The water's nice and clean out here, so we thought we'd make some water while we're going along. And we had fish fish sandwiches for breakfast. We got some bonito last night, just before dark, and they were delicious. We had them for dinner, we had some ceviche, and then we cooked up some, and it was absolutely amazing. Sun's going down, we are about 20, 20 nautical miles from Carbo. Yeah. And we just lost the wind, but we've just got our trusty spinnaker up and we'll move it along the same speed as if we had the engine on. So just going along nicely. There's barely any wind. I think it's time for a an evening mud water? Hey Bella, how does that sound? My mud water. Who feels yeah. like a mud water? I do. Me too. Our evening ritual is watching the sun go down and drinking a mud water rooibos nighttime tea. Mud water Ruvu's tea is a part of our evening ritual, whether we're sailing or chilling, watching the sun go down. Its health benefits from the organic ingredients help us to unwind at the end of the day and prepare us for a great night's sleep. Losing our light, honey. It's uh, so close, but we just didn't make it. We lost the wind, and uh, we're going to be arriving in the dark. Oh, we're not fans of that. About four hours, less. We'll be at Carbo. Two hours. It doesn't look like it's warm. You don't look warm. <laughs> Still cold. Just around the corner is warm. Thanks so much for watching.